Hello, TV Neko here, the completionist and I are joining forces. We are going to his hometown. <laughs> and we have to travel across one side of the island of Newfoundland to the next. 12 hour drive. This is gonna be fun. Try to take advantage if they got any 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 lunch deals. Like I said, this is the first thing I've eaten today, so I'm just gonna grab a grab an appetizer and a, and a main course. Uh, gee, these men well I've these menus have really changed since the last time I've been here. I mean, we had these in St. John's, but uh, chicken and salads. I guess when you when you do all the driving, you work up quite an appetite, don't you? I'm actually getting a little full. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had a plate full of taquitos. And now I'm trying to eat up a plate full of Alfredo. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look that much, much left. You can finish that off. I shall dry. So many real drowsy. <laughs> so I might be taking over driving for a little oh, while. We'll see. I mean... I don't know. Maybe I have no idea. Like I probably could go for a nap, but I mean I'm not, you know, dropping tired or anything. No, okay. Just kind of thing. And if I were to lie back, I probably could nap. All right. No, because like I already had my like half an hour, 45 minute uh, power nap. So like I'm pretty much good for the rest of the day now. At least you didn't snore. That would have disturbed my driving. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, guys. It's. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, we're finally done eating. We're probably going to be on the road again. Isn't that going to be fun? So it's going on 1230 now, guys. Uh, probably about five, five and a half hours to nightfall. So uh, we're coming up on the most desolate part of our drive uh, between Grand Falls and Deer Lake. There's pretty much nothing in between. So uh, so we got to try to reach uh, Bombay by nightfall. So we got about five, five and a half hours. So let's see if we can do it. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. Driving for five hours. Urge to kill. 
still rising. My ass feels like it's about to bleed. No, I need another another two hours to go, and then I can take over. Two hours. Close to Grand Falls, Windsor. Derby. Tim Hortons over there. Woohoo! We've seen enough of those. There's another more jungle gyms. <laughs> no thanks, we had our filling. St. John's to, to, to where I live. St. Anthony. And Crystal's wondering, Derek, why do you live so far? Why do you live so far away? Because my parents... Because your parents what? Because my parents decided to do the horizontal dance and they said, they said fuck it, we're not moving. My parents were lazy, so. Yeah. It's just about three o'clock. And I'm just sitting here, letting Derek drive. I'm so bored, I'm coming to resort to the fact that I'm now reading the warning label that's inside the car. So it looks pretty serious. Poor baby. Here we go, down in the valley. Big steep spot here. The actual name of this mountain range is called Long Range Mountain Range. Or sorry, the Long Range Mountains. Be nicer, but wasn't snowing and buggy. I guess this is one of the main reasons why this area is right dab in the middle of a Grossmoor National Park. It is very beautiful scenery. Sliding right there. <laughs> That's the first thought that came to my mind. That'd be so awesome going through with a crazy curb and come all the way down. <laughs> I think that's actually gross more. I think that's the highest point. No, I'm not too sure. This looks like two females, right up close, on at the ground. Here's the other one. We've been on the road for 12 freaking hours and we're still driving. We are still driving. driving. Yes. My legs hurt. <laughs> I'm going on six, six and a half hours driving right now. Uh, we missed our deadline. Uh, we were hoping to make the trip in about 12 hours, but uh, but we had a little bit of wind and a little bit of snow on the roads to deal with and that kind of delayed a little things. Now we're pretty much on the final run right now, but uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be another hour, hour and 15 minutes before we get home, but thankfully the snow has stopped and the visibility is good. Uh, we haven't run into any moose. We've run into plenty of caribou, so 
as long as the roads stay good and uh, and the visibility stays stays good, we should be home in, in no time. We're pretty much going through the final set of communities right now, and then we're on the final stretch to uh, St. Annie. Ah, on the road for too long. Getting closer, and I know this because the stretch of highway has a compelling. Well, it feels compelled to remind us how close we are every five kilometers. Because every five kilometers, a sign shows up saying, um, "The first one we saw said full health services in St. Anthony, 75 kilometers. Five kilometers later, it says." Full banking services in St. Anthony. It keeps doing this every five kilometers. Like St. Anthony's the biggest ego or something. It's crazy. But yeah, but because of those signs, we're assuming that we're actually passing the the airport right now. So I give it half hour maybe. Roughly. Half hour, 45 minutes. Here comes a sign. What does this one say? What does this one say? These asshole signs. Fishing Point Park in St. Anthony. Ugh. We are finally at St. Anthony. Praise Jesus. Oh boy. And it's exactly 940. So, yes. Or, well, we're not even true our, to our true destination yet. Uh, well, technically, we're pretty much there, so... <sighs> yeah. There's nothing to say. Yeah, there really is nothing to say, although it's, although we got here at a pretty good time, because you can see the snow really is fine. We're not suppo it's not supposed to get any much snow, only to maybe a couple centimeters, not much. But it's enough to leave a thin layer on the pavement. So yes, round it off, 13 hours of driving. Civilization. Yep. You can tell because you see police and hospital. And we can see some lights. So yes, we finally made it. 